Hello folks, Mr. Raven here, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. So, we are back where it all began. Um, this video is going to be a um, kind of recap thing, or looking back, uh, and a, um, do you call that, go around. In the base or the bases, because I have two bases, and uh, the farm is where it all started. Uh, actually I actually can't remember. I think we did like forty up to the forty-two day horde. I think this was the old uh, farmhouse, and we reinforced it and made spikes and stuff like. That. Um, but let's quickly go inside. Um, parking area. Oh, stuff respawned. You're feral. Will you please stop? Oh, darn it. Stupid zombie. Whoop. I mean, whoop. Perfect. Let's get up. So this is the uh, parking area for the uh, the mini bike, and this is just I don't know, empty room. <laughs> but here is all where all the magic happens. Do I have anything? Oh, I got some. Uh, some oh, a lot of glass. Let's take that with us. Any food? No. Let's see. My storage is full. Got a hundred machete blades. Ooh, I forgot. <laughs> that one I can use. To repair the one I have. Anything else? Maybe this one. Still got a lot of <laughs> rotten flesh. Ooh, food. Mmm, meat stew. Let's take the 51. This one. Might as well leave some. Well, I don't want to take it with me because I don't want to carry it around. <laughs> Anyways, so this is, yeah, where it all happens. Happened. But I cleaned out the things I needed. Pretty sure I have. Didn't I have three torches? What happened with the middle one? Don't know. Do I have. No. Cleaned out all the bullets. I still have a lot of paper here. Maybe I should take this with me. Nothing. And nothing. Cool. So this is the. Um, this is the first base, and if we go down to the basement, right? Come on, thank you. We have the tunnel. It's a little dark right now, uh, because generator is not running. I don't have any engines. This was uh, or is my uh, mine, uh, iron mine. Got a lot of iron from this one. The long tunnel. Let's keep on going. <laughs> we had a lot of good uh, hot nights down here. Um, well, not down here, but uh, where are we going? Um, down there is uh, the generator room. And up here is... Fortress. We have the fallback point if uh, the shooting cage. Ugh. No, I broke my leg again. Darn it. I'm good at that. Uh, we got this shooting cage and um, 
I used to think this is set up so I can if I turn this on, this side is on. Turn this on. This side is on because I had too many blade traps to actually have one generator running it. <laughs> so I, I kinda made it so I can see where the car horde is coming from and only turn on the ones that I need. Um it was pretty neat. I think we could have handled uh, the, the same hordes we have now in this without any problems, actually. Yeah. That was uh, a lot of fun. Started painting stuff. Um, but it never really came out the way I wanted. Kind of fell down stuff was just the top didn't really work um but everything else worked actually <laughs> so uh let's put on some clothes oh it's almost uh, or it is broken so that that's the old base that was the old base then uh, i decided to can I? Um, then I decided to to move because it's a cool starter area. The farm uh, it's easy to rebuild. It's easy to make safe-ish uh, during the night, and it's a big flat area where you can do a lot of things. You don't need to worry about hills and stuff like that messing up your build and then we got all the corn and that's a easier way to survive i think so that was the reason why i actually started out here and i'm pretty uh, curious about how alpha 17 is gonna turn out for this area um because it is a pretty good starter area but I decided to to uh, spice things up a little bit, so I um, <laughs> I actually uh, decided to move to the desert and build a ba base there. Um, so let me drive out there. Oh, well, I can show you on the map first. Our base is right there now, in the middle of nowhere in the desert we actually uh, have seen the most important things of the map uh, on the journey and it's actually um, I have a big area here I haven't really explored but I don't think there is like a city or anything here um, If we have the chance, uh, we could do like one video more where we take the last bit here. But uh, let me drive out to my base and I'll see you there. So we're here in the uh, fog. <laughs> Can't see the base outside. So let's go, just go in. Um, one of the reasons I decided to build uh, in the desert area is because I wanted to do like um, instead of put, uh, building a tower on the ground I wanted to do like lower it down do like almost like a Batman cave-ish uh, base under the base but still be like in ground level and the desert has yeah, the desert sand, and it's way easier to dig in uh, than the uh, than the uh, dirt, because um, normal uh, everywhere else um, you you dig down like seven uh, seven meters down, and then you hit uh, stone. Don't do that in the desert. Uh, it's sand all the way down to bedrock, so. It's easy to dig all the way down. 
And if I do like this, I think where we start to overheat. Um, I actually think I hit the uh, amount of lighting. Okay, uh, it's a little dark in the middle, uh, but that's fine. So this is the uh, parking area um, for the mini bike. If we were uh, playing multiplayer, there would be a lot of room for extra bikes. <laughs> Out here in the back, go in, going under the stairs, we have the farm. Actually, ended up digging down a big hole, a glass window, and planting my farm in safety. And it is in the desert, so I, I built down um, a little bit more, and I put in water for the plants. And you need to bring your own dirt to to actually have dirt to plant in. Because you can't plant stuff in the in the sand. Oh well, maybe you can, but uh, I actually haven't tested that. So we need to water our stuff in the desert. That makes sense, right? Actually, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty neat. <laughs> um, then we have the uh, big stairs up. Uh, it was a little wonky to do, because on this side I couldn't get it to fit right. So that's a single stair up, but over here it, it fits perfect. And I think it's because I started from here, so it got, got that way. Could have. Oh yeah, it would have fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually in extended this platform, so it would fit the opening. Yeah, now I remember. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but a big stairs up. The first thing we, uh, well, last thing before we go out the door, pick our best weapon. And I actually have a lot of good weapons and a lot of bullets, so we're ready. The only thing I need a little bit of is the, uh, is the slugs. And I have another safe with all my next best weapons. And all the uh, crafting we need to do. Storage. Don't have a lot of parts right now because I just assembled it all. Filled up all my turrets around the base. I also decided uh, on this base here that I wouldn't use any spikes. Um, I thought that spikes... Um, I tried the spikes so many times. Uh, it works perfectly every time and it's easy. You don't have to worry about not having... Um, not having enough uh, bullets and stuff like that when when you do the, the spikes so yeah it uh, it is this thing I had for myself uh, in this uh, base no spikes then I built a uh, corner here for all my fortress. The thought is um, that it's vented out this way. Same I did over here. I built a big grill with the, the campfires. So I could do a lot of barbecue, maybe do a whole deer when I throw down a party. <laughs> Let's go up another level here. This is. Uh, ooh, ooh. The door out um, into the maze. I thought if I hadn't, if I don't have any any spikes, kind of need to see if I can't, um, you know, make the zombies uh, move around and around and around <laughs> in circle instead of hitting the walls. It works most of the time um, the first or the 
the inner wall uh, is two turrets. And it this one can shoot down this wall, or and down this wall, and the other one, the two others. So any zombie coming in here is gonna get killed. Uh, it's uh, bulletproof glass, so I can't shoot out. I, I can I can stand in here in the box and sh and look at the zombie getting mowed down by the uh, the turrets. The middle uh, hallway is the blade trap hallway. Uh, which are triggered by sensors, so that's why they're not running now. Try and conserve the uh, the fuel in the um, in the. Why is that? Oh, uh, the light is not on. Oh my. Um, to conserve some of the fuel, the more you're drawing uh, on the uh, the generator, the more fuel you use. So, and I think uh, when everything is on. I don't have enough powers with the engines I have. Every engine is purple, but not 600. So I don't think I could gain a hell lot of more power with a, with a 600 engine. So that's why I have the sensors. So they couldn't. It's only. <laughs> it's good. It's only the, uh, the blades that has zombie around it that runs. So pretty cool, I think. Um, I might do it different if um, if I had the time, but or I do have the time, but I don't. It, it works fine, but I I could do it more um, smart. Then the plan is, and I haven't done that this yet because I still have zombies coming in. Um, but I I plan to bef before the uh, hot night. Um, to fill the hallways, uh, maybe, maybe this one too. I don't know, but at least this one, up, with spikes, uh, not spikes, um, Bob wire. And the reason is, uh, is that this is the shotgun hallway. So I have a shotgun on every four side that shoots up against to the opening. So, right there. There's two shotgun just shooting zombies coming in. It's really efficient um, and I like it a lot. Um, so this is kind of like the murder maze. <laughs> the murder maze base. Yeah, that's that's the name. <laughs> um, let's go up another level. Yep. So this is the um, the upper floor, not the uh, top floor, but the upper floor. Here I can go around and shoot down and on every zombie I want to, or zombies coming in without shooting down. The other base, the beginner base, I um, had to shoot down at the zombies. Um, which make the zombie a little harder to hit, I think. Uh, now that uh, the zombie is in, on the same level as you, it's easier to hit them. Um, I uh, put in some lights uh, pointing out so I can see everything that's happening. And uh, I have auditory on right now. I have the blade traps on right now. Saving a little gas. By not turning on the lights. I actually did another generator just with one engine. For the spotlights. Um, I wanted to be sure. Uh, huh. I used a lot of time um, aiming those spotlights so the. I think this one has um, reset. Anyways, uh, I can see the zombie uh, with the spotlights, so that's great. Uh, let's turn it on. Turn this off. Don't need that. Last but not least, sniper tower. It's not. I know it's floating. Um, 
that wasn't the plan, but I, I, yeah, I didn't see before I put everything up here. This has a uh, giving me some heartache. I, I don't know why, but this corner, this corner, I couldn't go out another level, then it would collapse all down. But this corner could, and everything is symmetrical in this space. Only place it went wrong was that corner over there. No, it was one of the corners that I messed up. Huh? Can't actually see, but it's this one, I think. That that corner should be equal to that one. So yeah, it's this one. You see that opening is a little narrower than this one. And I'm not sure if that, if the zombies came come from over here, that would give me problems. But for now, the zombie has come from there, and I think it was there one time, and there. So, and that's the uh, roof of the uh, farm. My solar panels. It's uh, powering only. Uh, the lights on the uh, work deck, the uh, lower base. So, uh, so that's that's how it looks. That's how it rolls. That's how I roll. Um, the next video. Um, is uh, it's probably going to be the ultimate test of the space the no no spike uh mace base <laughs> test uh i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna go max zombie of li alive i can't remember i think i have 24 max life right now i think the highest number is 32 i don't know but last time we had like uh, not all the time, but most of the time under 10 frames per second. <laughs> uh, and I don't have a bad computer or um, anything like that. It's just, it's still an alpha game, so it is, it is a little bit unoptimized, so, yeah. But it's get it's getting better, I think, I hope. <laughs> So, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna make this all zombies run. Uh, hence the uh, bob wire down here, because when I have the uh, the feral zombies, I run pretty fast uh, through here and uh, past the spikes and into this area, and then they die, <laughs> because the turrets are ruthless. Um. So, yeah. Yeah. I really hope you liked this uh, recapped video. Uh, look back, throw back. What it's called. Um, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please show your support by leaving a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you have uh, any uh, suggestions, um, or just comments in general, leave it down below. If you're new here and you accidentally stumble upon my channel, please consider subscribing. And the last thing I want to do is just wish you a great day. Have fun gaming. Bye.